Airport to pick up my sister. I am so excited. For the next one and a half miles, keep straight on this Let road. Let her talk. <laughs> um, the weather is good because yesterday was raining. But the funny thing is, in Poland, it has been snowing for the last two days. The weather is just crazy. Normally by now in Poland, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, I've got a long drive because I'll right, shut up. Onto the M25 towards yes. um, what was I saying before I was rudely interrupted? Um, oh yes, long drive because unfortunately she's coming to Stansted, which is quite far away. It's funny how it's going to take her the same time to fly from another country that is going to take me to get to this airport. But it's all fun. Attention, there are traffic situations on the route. There always are. In three quarters of a mile, bear right and continue onto the M25 towards Watchford. Yes. Um, yeah, but it's all fun, isn't it? We are going to have fun from the minute we get in the car. So I will try to maybe vlog a bit her stay. Um, we'll see how it goes. Now, bear right. And um, on Sunday, my brother is gonna come over again just to, to see her as well. So yeah, it's For gonna the next be fun. Miles, keep straight on this road. We shall be doing a lot of shopping, talking, eating and drinking Prosecco. <laughs> I am wearing today my um, Raquel Welch Editor Speak in Shaded Biscuits. Isn't sad, sad enough amazing invention? Gosh, do you remember the times when you have to look at your route on a map? I wasn't very good at reading maps ever. Five towards Oxford. This woman talks more than me, honestly. Okay, my lovelies, I better turn myself off and concentrate, and I see you in a bit. Okay, I've arrived at the airport. I'm early which is good the traffic wasn't too bad um she's arriving in 15 minutes but i suppose by the time she gets through immigration it will be a long time oh i still got my glasses on i have to put my glasses on when i'm somewhere well i don't know where i'm going when i need to read uh, the names of the road i can't see that very well Okay, I better go. Hello, I've got her. Hello. <laughs> it was brilliant. She landed earlier, half an hour earlier. So uh, we're going to go home now and drink. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so we are in Reading and we've been really naughty. Look at this. Eating all these donuts. What have you got? One raspberry. raspberry looks like a lip gloss. Do it as if it was your lips. <laughs> I am very traumatized because I just met a subscriber and I was so embarrassed. Hi everyone, so unfortunately that's how much I had <laughs> um, filmed of my time with my sister. Um, it is difficult, you know, we see each other just twice, twice a year and 
we are so busy when she's here she's here usually just for four days so we are running around shopping eating catching up on things and you know i don't really want to be working uh while i'm with her so but a lot of you wanted to see her so hopefully you've seen glimpses of of my sister monica uh it's been a crazy crazy week uh, um, well to be honest couple of weeks i had a lot of things going on here uh, we had our air conditioning unit changed and regassed and everything so that was a big palava and um, not last weekend well you know at some point my brother came then my sister came uh, then my brother came again to see her as well so that was crazy and um and what happened and then i got this so if you follow me on instagram you would have seen it i got at last my hundred thousand subscribers youtube silver play button there it is you can see all the reflection it basically says sugar puff and fluff congratulations for uh, surpassing 100,000 subscribers and you get a um, letter with it which I think is a standard letter saying you've just done something very few YouTube creators accomplish you had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel we know numbers on YouTube can get really big but we hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six digit milestone each and every person who has subscribed to your channel was touched by what you did. They were inspired or challenged or entertained. You made it to this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and chances are a healthy sense of humor. What you've accomplished can be taken away from you. And we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this silver play button, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers might seem a long way off right now, but you are closer than you think and we are rooting for you. One million, right. <laughs> anyway, I was so, so happy, like I said, on... on um, on Instagram I feel like I've received an Oscar uh, I feel very proud and it is a big achievement for me I've done it all by myself of course with your help and and I want you to know that I really really appreciate every one of you um, and thank you so much for being with me supporting me and subscribing to my channel so yeah, that was a big, big moment. I I was so happy. I don't know yet when I'm going, where I'm going to put it. Probably upstairs in in my filming room. But yeah, it it was very moving. And and my son, you know, youngsters are all all in you, to YouTube. And my son said he was so proud of me, and he wanted to take picture of me with holding it. So you know, I have to thank him because my channel really exists because of him he was the one who really persuaded me to start my own youtube channel um i started watching youtube about six years ago um i probably told you this story all before and i've noticed that i used to enjoy watching all the makeup tutorials but they were done by very young people and there is nothing wrong with that you know it's great and they are wonderful but i have noticed that there wasn't many makeup tutorials for more mature women like me or older and i sometimes looked at those makeup tutorials and thought if someone with hooded crepey droopy eyes tried this it would not work so i felt like i had something to offer and max always said to me you could easily do it you should do it and i had no clue i mean he helped me so much at first um i remember i started filming my videos on my mac on them um, in a photo booth which is just that inbuilt camera 
so they were not very good quality they were also back to front so when people sometimes watch my old videos they think that i am applying makeup with left hand but it's not it's like a mirror <laughs> mirror effect oh i've been talking with lipstick on my teeth very nice um you know i didn't have a clue how to upload a video i just knew absolutely nothing and he helped me at the beginning and then i just learned all this myself so he played a big role in creation of my um youtube channel i regret one thing um about my channel and that's my channel's name what on earth possessed me? I know I like everything fluffy, sparkly, sugary, but you know, I'm not 15 or 12. And sometimes I think this name sounds sugar puff and fluff like a stripper name. <laughs> so I don't know, I for some reason when I started watching YouTube, um, a lot of channels had that, you know, there wasn't just someone's name. They were like strange names um, or funny names. And I thought it had to be something different and, and funny. I, I don't know. I don't know. I should have just named it Nisha or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think that's, that's the one thing I regret is my channel's name. I still like it, but you know, I think... For mature channel, it is maybe not an appropriate name, and uh, and like I said, I feel like it sounds like a stripper's name, you know, sugar puff and fluff. Come and see me at I don't know, Spermin Rhino or whatever it is. Um, okay, so yes, thank you so much. You know, I mean, you got me here, so without you, I wouldn't be here um although you know this is not all about the numbers and and subscribers i i enjoy just the interaction with, with you and you know you know i've said it so many times so thank you another thing that was so exciting right you probably never noticed um, and I wish I've taken a picture of my um, engagement ring. You might have noticed that I haven't had it on for a while, for quite a while. Instead, I had this. And that is just a very, very cheap ring that I bought as a substitute for now because what happened... Um, my engagement ring was just a very simple solitaire and you know the little claws that hold the diamond kept breaking off it is quite old engagement ring now and i am um i don't ever really take my rings off i will shopping them i cleaning them which i won't do now um and i was worried that at some point i am going to lose the diamond and also you know the gold with years got a bit a bit thin i've gone all blurry there so i've asked my sister-in-law you know caroline brook caroline brook jewelry i will leave a website down below if she could remake my ring so melt it keep the diamond obviously make me a bit different band thicker band um a bit different setting add some little diamonds on the side and i didn't know what it was going to look like we sort of ran through some ideas and you know she's got experience because i'm like unless i see the exact ring i can't imagine what it's going to look like so she really helped me with choosing you know i, I said will that look nice with that setting she said yes definitely anyway She's made it and it's here now and I love it. Um, let me tell you first that uh, to me, that's just my personal preference. Engagement ring is a solitaire. Nice high set, one diamond solitaire. That's what I liked and I suppose it's very traditional. And that's what I've always liked. Um, and she just made it even more special. So I will put it on my hand first. So can you see how high it is set? I love it. And 
it's got like now five little diamonds on each side and it has these little like petals that the diamonds are set in it's just beautiful She has sent me the photos of it at first. So I absolutely love it. I've missed it so much and I just love it. So yeah, that was very exciting. Another thing, I got new yard watch. Do you remember? I, I have shown you this wooden watch by Yord. That's how you spell it pronounce it and it, the other one was like a darker wood and I thought for the summer it would be nice to have um, like a um, light wood I just really really love it it's so so different um, it is a bit too big for me when you order those watches there is a page where you can go to and print or you can measure your wrist yourself and you give them the measurement of your wrist but obviously they try to make it a bit looser so it's not too big but I've got such skinny wrists that I might have to take out another link because you know it comes with um, with the little tool and the links that they've taken out and also it comes with a little polishing cloth and a little um, conditioning oil for your wood comes on that cushion it's just so beautiful um, I think I have a discount code for you for this watch um, I'm, I'm pretty sure and I think it's it's $25 off or 25% off I can't remember um, but yeah look in the description box I will leave the link yeah so I really like it so my dark one is like a winter watch and this is my summer watch Okay, um, one other thing. I have been getting so many questions about this wall color. Everybody's, not everybody obviously, but so many people asking me what color it is. And I've answered so many, but I still get more. So I thought I say it here, it probably won't make any difference because not everybody will see this video. But this is a custom color. Basically what happened, uh, when I was having it decorated um, my friend just had her bedroom decorated and she had these beautiful grey walls in her bedroom and I said to her oh, I love this colour what is it called so she told me the name of it and it was by Dulux and it was called Bowler Hat so I didn't think anything of it I didn't go and see it I just ordered it online because it was quite difficult to get in shops because it's from some sort of collection so I never looked at it when it came and when the painter decorator came and started putting it on a wall it was almost black it was so so dark this whole room looked so much darker and I was like oh my god I can't have it that dark I can't and I've spent all this money on that paint so I found then in my garage um, white emulsion, just white paint. So what we did, we mixed the dark grey with the white and that's what we ended up with. So I couldn't tell you what colour it is. It was originally bowler hat mixed with white. Um, but I've just seen really nice wallpaper, like a grey wallpaper with a bit of bling that I like that I might put on here. Because now they've changed, um, let me show you, um, this unit is a bit different. It's actually a bit nicer. The other one was like a, you know, straight boxy one. This one is a bit nicer. But now on the side of it, in one place, I have, you know, they had to move it a bit so I have like white underneath so I've got a gap now so all I have to and I can't really match this color again so all I have to repaint the whole wall different color you know find another gray color or I will paper it I don't know but yeah it's a custom color it's there is no name for it okay um 
I haven't really bought anything, not anything new. I bought again this, which I just did a um, makeup tutorial with because I've given mine to my sister. She really liked it. She likes those cool, taupey, mauvey colors. So I've given her that one, but I really like it. So I bought it again. I, I have the same makeup on as that tutorial that I did. And then I got from Rimmel these two. And I think I used to have this color. This one is called Brixton Brown. And um, the palette is Glam Eyes HD. So this is the Brixton Brown. I like these colors. And this one is <laughs> pink. Pink Adili, Piccadilly Circus. I love it. So I got these two as well because I remember, you see, I think I had this one, the Bricks and Brown, and I'm sure I gave that one to my mum because uh, she likes, he has a bit of a, like a brownie plummy colours and she likes those colours. So I'm sure I gave it to her and never bought it again, but I've never had the Piccadilly Circus one. So I bought those because I thought if I go away this is so easy to take just a couple of these little uh, little palettes and then I have repurchased for the hundredth time the Balance Skin Brightening Cream Wash and this is what I this is what I wash my makeup off with wash my face with I really like it it is with vitamin C an argan oil so i really like it i keep buying it on amazon it is so inexpensive um i, I always buy a couple at the time now the wig i'm wearing is henry margot kendall in color 26h i got this wig sent by sister wigs not this one but kendall in a different color which i've reviewed and you will see it at some point it was very ginger color and i really like the style so i bought myself this color because i prefer it obviously um talking about wigs so you will be seeing a lot of wig reviews but I, like i said they only gonna be on saturdays and sundays weekends because i have few unhappy people um it is so so frustrating i have people saying to me that all i am doing now is wigs and yes i'm reviewing a lot of wigs i had so many wigs sent and people ask me if i have to send them back if i can keep them it depends with some i can keep some i have to send back i just do a review and send them back um it's so frustrating for me because it's not like I've stopped doing my usual videos and just review wigs. I still put out the two to three videos a week, my usual ones. I always have my Monday one. I always have some sort of makeup tutorial and I don't know, haul, empties, whatever. Um, I still do those videos and I don't have people complaining, oh my God, not another Monday video or oh, not another makeup tutorial. I just cannot understand why people have this problem with wigs i just really really don't get it i would be very grateful if these people could explain to me why this is bothering them so much why is it so bad and and i i cannot reply because if i reply and say to them exactly what i just said now to you they say that i cannot take criticism and then i attack people I can't see how that is an attack I'm just trying to explain but I feel like these people don't watch my other videos throughout the week they just concentrate on the wig ones which they hate apparently and then complain about it so they probably won't see this video because they probably don't watch my Monday videos they will watch my wig video and complain about it um, my channel is beauty fashion and lifestyle it's about looking and feeling good after 40 and that includes loads of things um, my channel is not called makeup tutorials um, 
you know it's about anything that can give us confidence make us feel better and I, like i said i know for a fact because i get a lot of um, comments and i see by the views that a lot of you really appreciate those reviews and i appreciate them because when i started with wigs and wanted to buy some i was watching reviews because you know you can't trust the pictures on the internet um so you know at our age unfortunately a lot of women are hit with cancer and they have to go through treatment and lose hair and you know how devastating it must be to start losing your hair on the top of dealing with cancer uh, some people have alopecia some people lose hair because of medication and it does really impact on one's confidence um, and I think that because my channel is about giving people confidence and and helping everyone to feel uh, wonderful and you know and happy that wigs have place in that so I know I don't have to explain myself but why I'm saying this because I really really would like these people that complain to exactly explain to me why this is such problem I am subscribed to lots of channels and that doesn't mean I have to like every single video I watch only the ones that interest me that appeal to me if someone that I'm subscribed to put out put out a video that I'm not interested in I'm not gonna go and have a go why did you put that video out I don't like it I just don't watch it I I mean it's impossible to <laughs> to you know um, please everybody so it's just frustrating I'm not upset um, you know I'm just frustrated because like I said I would understand if I stopped doing all my other videos and I just became a wig reviewing channel but that's not the case at all so anyway you will be seeing a lot of wig reviews for a few weeks now and then we see how we go um, I still enjoy them I love them and I'm gonna wear them and hopefully you'll find them helpful as well um, as usual I will put everything in the description box which is another frustrating thing because it doesn't matter how many times I say check the description box people still ask me what wig are you wearing or uh, what is your top and I put everything down there am I like I said I only don't put things in the description box that are no longer available like if I'm wearing a top or piece of jewelry that is not available then I don't see the point of me putting it in the description box um, this top is just a very thin thin lovely flow, floaty knit from Zara I will put link to it again because you know when if you went on the website you wouldn't find it because they look totally different they they come in a few different colors um, so yeah everything will be in the description box I don't know if I'm gonna come back again to talk to you this week um, but if I have something else to show you I will but for now bye bye